Yeah. So DJ, let's talk about, you know, NFL Combine was the experience, everything that you expected it to be. I know like it's one of those things you can prepare as much as you want, but yeah. once you're there, man, it's like total difference. No, I don't think it's initially different. I, I think it's, I think the, uh, all right, I'm gonna go back to high school. I mean, <laughs> Jeremy Hoffman, Larry Graham, my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, my wife now, that was I met in college. My family in law, my father in law, mother in law, like all of them, my sister, like I think they've always prepared me for, for life things when it comes to things that are going to be a, a, a block in your road or your, your challenge, your challenge, or whatever it is. Um, I think that all prepared me for this moment. Um, for coaches, I mean, nothing coming by surprise. I mean, I was being myself, who I am as a player, who I am as a person. I portray that to teams, portray that to the other love the game of football. That is not just something I'm interested in doing. I love the game. It's something that I'm good at and I want to do. So I think that's, I don't think that's caught me by surprise. Not that you needed validation mm -hmm. to come out early, but yeah. I mean, the way you did in the combine, is it some kind of validation you that this was the right decision? I mean, yeah, I mean, I was did my best season here right now uh, this past year. I mean, I think that's the, that's what speaks the most, um, how you play football. Uh, the drills are cool, see how fast you can run, how fast you can bend, do all that stuff. And that's just a short evaluation. Everything's going to lead back to that film, how you played on that football field, because these only go so far. I mean, you're not going to run it for a D lineman. I mean, you're not going to, unless you get a free line, like no one just blocks you, you're not going to, you're not, you're, there's going to be some friction in that row against the quarterback and how you're going to use your technique to get to that quarterback or stop the run, or stop the stretches, or stop the downhills. Those are things that are all, it's all going to come back to that when you do good out here. So I think, I think that's the main thing. And I know players sometimes choose ASU because of the NFL experience on staff. Mm -hmm. We obviously had position coach Robert Rodriguez for awesome. several years. It was awesome. the Vikings. So so now, I mean, as you go through the process, you know, pro day today, combine a couple of weeks ago, how much does that NFL aspect of coaching pay dividends in those events? I think uh, the way they have this program centered around when it comes to being yourself, I mean, you have a lot of freedom. Um, how are you going to you gonna hold yourself? Are you going to be on time? Are you going to be late? I always choose to be on time, be a little early. Coach AP always had me. I just be there five minutes early, minimum. If you're not there, then he's going. He's going to take. He's, they're taking notes on that. Are you going to be on the building? Coach Rod takes notes on that. Are you going to be there for extra meetings? Um, I think this system sets people up for that next level because that's how I feel like that's how it's going to be. Are you going to have that that mentality of being early? You're going to have that professionalism about yourself. And I think that's the main thing when it comes to this program. That it sets you up for that. You understand that it's an NFL schedule. We only practice for about two hours, so you got to really be dedicated to your craft in those two hours. Because if you're not, you can look like a sloppy you on Saturday. So, I think those are the things about this program um, that allow me to take things away for it for this next opportunity that I have. The year that you had last year, do you really think it's the mental maturity that really got you over the hump from being just a good lineman to a really, a really great lineman? I think a lot of it's mental. I mean, physical. Um, my body type is there. My, my physique is there. When it comes to your mindset, though, you have to really commit to the game, commit to your craft, commit to your teammates, your brothers, commit to your path that you have for yourself, and don't deviate from that. Um, people that got you where you were, you have to commit to them too, because those are the people that it all started off with. Start with the dream, a wish, opportunity. <laughs> And every day it's another opportunity. Every day to come out and get better to learn something in some way. Even if you did bad at it, take something away from it. So, yeah, I think that's what it mainly was for me in my life. I know this whole thing is like kind of self generated with like you obviously looking for the best results for yourself. But yeah. like, how is it overall and what's the experience like just being out here with the guys that you played with and run up with and done those things and just sort of. Overall, how's that experience today? Yeah. Like doing it as a team rather than just sort of like, yeah, you're doing the self stuff. But. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with Chase when yeah. I was younger, played against him in high school, Tyler played against him in high school. Right. So those are two people that, you know, on this team that I played against in high yeah. school. So seeing them doing well, it motivates yeah. me to do well because I always want to be on top. I want to be better than them as yeah. they want to be better than me. And I think it motivates everybody around you. When you're pushing someone else to do their best, that's only going to get the best out of you. Mm -hmm. I think that's the main thing. All these people I met over the years, you got the BJ, the yeah. guys, you got the older guys, Aishon, Rennell, mm -hmm. Jordan Foy, mm -hmm. uh, all of them, they, they really helped me get my mindset right, uh, see how they carry themselves in the 
professional manner under underneath Coach Herm's um, system when Coach Graham left. Yeah. And just seeing them the way they did things, uh, I took I took away from them. what I what I wanted to do right and what I wanted to do wrong. I just really learned, and I'm happy for everybody whatever path they take, and I hope they're the same for me. But if they're if they're not, I'm still gonna be happy for them because. I just want everybody to be successful because everybody's journey is going to be different. Everybody's life is going to be different. And mine's going to be different for me. So that's the main thing for me. I saw you giving love to all the international guys when you're yeah. finishing that. Just yeah. out of curiosity, how's that been? Like, unique opportunity to work with all those guys as well. So, I mean, I, it's a, I know you may not know like a ton of them. But. Yeah. I don't know any of them. Yeah. But what I do know is that when it comes to motivating others, yeah. I think that's very important. How totally. I said, like, I'm gonna look at somebody that's on the field with me as a as competition, and I want to get the best out of them because it's gonna only pull the best out of me. So Same like, type gapping of them up, letting them know, like, yeah. let's go, like, you're doing good. Like, that makes me want to do better because I know, like, they're getting there all. They they have one like one of my top five team, just as me, just as Tyler, just anybody in the team. And just to see them out here, it just it's it's fulfilling to see everybody have their opportunity, their shot. And I'm excited for everybody. How I said, like, I want everybody to succeed. Totally. You know, everybody's past gonna be different. I think that's the main thing with the international kids. It's awesome to see them out here with us and competing cool. and doing their thing. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool.